I think it's loading. Not really sure. Oh, that's not a splash screen. That's a clicky screen. Got it. Day zero. Rog. All right. This looks like day Z. Interesting. No idea what I'm doing. So I have a can opener. A bandage. A couple bandages. A flashlight. Ooh, it actually has battery power. Battery, 7200 out of 7200. Nice. How do we turn it on? It said home for help. There we go. Oh, cool. Show, hide, name tags. It's earplugs, holster weapon, build system control B, group menu. Oh, and you can bind a couple custom controls. All right. Basically, I have no clue what I'm doing. Oops, I just dropped on the ground, though. Lamp for hand flashlight. Oh. Okay. Now when I push L, battery goes down. Got it. Okay, we're good. Didn't have the bulb in it. That's kind of cool. You actually have bulbs and batteries. Uh, the mercenaries have dismantled their construction site and escaped. So do I have a map? I do have a map. And there are missions. Okay. I'm not sure what all these icons are either. There wasn't a whole lot of info on the website. There was a little bit of info on the forums. But I uh, haven't been able to find too much yet. As far as what this mod's all about. It does have third person. On a road. Let's run this way. Do I have a compass? I don't have a compass. I do have a map though. Yeah, I spawn with a map. At least I did this time. So yeah, voice is still a little rough, as you can tell. But uh, I saw Dead Sir streaming this on YouTube. And I'd never heard of it, so I thought I'd just jump in real quick and see what it was all about. It's an easy mod to get. Oh crap. It's an easy mod to get on the Steam Workshop. Is that a zombie? I'm guessing that's a zombie. It doesn't look like a... doesn't look like the player crouch, does it? Let's go look. It's making zombie noises. Let's you bind it for some odd reason. It's making zombie noises, so I'm going to avoid him. The lag there as the mission spawned in. No loots. I'm not sure how the looting works. I don't really know how anything works. So some of these icons are obvious, like uh, blood and... Looks like drink, maybe. Temperature. I'm not sure what the bottom one is, and they're really actually hard to see. Like, I assume you have to eat. I don't know what the little guy holding the gun out. I don't know what that's all about.
Don't know what the 2500 is. Don't know what the little circle at the top is. Maybe that's how many zombies I've killed or something. Basically coming into this cold. Which is kind of fun. I get to learn. I'm just going to run down this road. See what happens. There we go. There's a little village. This is interesting. They've added some houses here that aren't part of Janaris. They don't look too out of place. Some Arma 3 enterable buildings, I think. There's something back there behind the bush. I'm assuming it's a zombie. Yeah, there's a zombie crawling around in there, too. That's creepy. Well, let's find out how close we can get without aggro and zombie. Don't know what that is, but I'll take it. Tactical glasses. Sure, why not? I picked up an M9 mag. All right. So loot's working about like Daisy mod. Anything else? I must say I like the zombies. There's some cool animations and stuff going on. Empty beef chunks. Soda, what's that? Antibiotics. Sounds useful. Be so good if they had the uh, enhanced movement mod. Oh, they do! What? Okay, now I'm super excited. I don't get too excited, I'll start coughing. It's like the best mod ever. I gotta try it out. Oh, it does both. That's goofy. So it does the normal armor three, and then it does the enhanced movement, so they gotta fix that. <laughs> it's I think it's still considered beta oh jeez are you kidding me I can't bind controls though so there's that that's pretty goofy Hopefully I'll get that worked out. Kind of wanted to find a gun and see how that worked. Some of these buildings look a little out of place in Chinaris. Alright, so there's plenty of food and drink, it seems. So, maybe not much of a survival mod. But I think it's considered beta, so they may still be sorting some of that out. Oh, here we go. We got a Lee Enfield. Hell yeah. 
tell him something so he can take some ammo. Alright, we're either going to break a leg or, or do that, and that's cool. <laughs> uh, there's just no zombies down here. That's a shame. I wanted to shoot a zombie from a roof. I guess we'll have to go find a zombie somewhere. So I guess I'll have to rebind my keys before I join the server because it won't let me stay on the server binds or the uh, control bind screen. All right, let's go shoot a zombie and I'll wrap this up. Just a quick first look. I have no idea what this mod's all about. It's apparently a base building. Hey, there's a zombie. That's a dead zombie. There's base building. There's apparently all kinds of stuff. Got our armored ball cap. There's a zombie. Was close. All right, we gotta wear the Ashanka. All right. Oh, that's like in combat. That's what that meter means. Like, it might. You can't really see the icons. That's one big complaint right off the bat. Maybe you can change that. I don't know. I don't. I don't appear to be bleeding or anything, so that's good. Here is a zombie. Where are you? There you are. Let's shoot him in the leg and see if that does anything. To I thought I shot him in the leg. Maybe not. I like to wear their Ashankas. Same loot here, so. Server will restart in 10 minutes. All right, well, that's a good time to wrap it up. Took a quick look here. It's got some rough edges, but it looks like it's got some possibilities, so I'll probably be playing this some more. Check it out. See what's uh, available via base building and that kind of thing. So, Thanks for watching, and uh, I'll catch you next time.